Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on today's video. Well, today is a very, very special day. We kept all the kids home from school. We didn't let them go to school because today is the solar eclipse day. And um, it's already starting to kind of dim down. It's about halfway right now, but we got everybody outside and we just kind of been hanging out together as a family this morning. We want to thank y'all so much for all y'all's love and support to our, our family and our animals. Um, we have got so much amazing stuff going on, on the farm and thank y'all so much for all your kind words and um, for the people that don't leave kind words, that's okay too. We, we hope you enjoyed watching it as well. And uh, today we are going to watch the what? The solar eclipse and the, the sun. The solar eclipse in which the next time this will happen will be in 20... 44. 44. 2044. So um, one of the subscribers sent the kids some glasses, sent everyone some glasses. And um, that's what we're going to do now is get the glasses out here. So, and Braley's going to get the purple ones. Layton's got the white ones, pink, color. green. I got blue. Me and Steph's going to share. So let's go over here and look and see if we can uh, see the eclipse. And uh, not only that, we're just going to build history here, or memories, not history. Um, and the kids can go back and look at this years down the road when they're with their kids. Oh, it's more than halfway now. I see them. You see it, guys? Don't look at it without the glasses, though. Make sure you got glasses on. I see it. It's, it's orange now. And it's it's yellow. It's yellow. It's yellow. It's what? It's yellow. Put, put your glasses on and look. Everybody got their glasses on? What color is it? It's yellow. Oh, yellow. It's yellow. Oh, yellow. Well, you broke it away. You can't even see it. Really? I see it off white. That's awesome, guys. This is going to be neat. The temperature has went down already. So we're going to uh, monitor it for a few minutes. And uh, I'll see if I can show y'all through the glasses, see what it looks like. So Addison had a good idea. We're going to come up here and we're going to lay down and look at the sun on the slab of our house. Hey guys, before we watch the solar eclipse, I want to let you know today's video is sponsored by Aura. If you've watched our channel very long, you've known the last uh, couple months, well, a few months that we've made a few videos talking about Aura. So what we want to give you is an update on how Aura has protected us the last few months. Since we've downloaded Aura, I know within the last week they have removed over 50 data brokers who were trying to uh, get our information so they could sell it online. Another thing that I really enjoy since I've signed up with Aura, I don't receive all those spam calls every single day. I know what you know what, I know what you, you're, I know you know what I'm talking about because that is crazy. I don't know how they get the number, I guess by data brokers. They would literally call me three or four times a day. That is come to a stop. Not only does Aura protect me, but they protect our whole family. The Aura does so many different things. Um, they can also monitor your credit score and, and watch and make sure nobody comes in and tries to steal your information that way. I know if you're like me, you do not like other people to have your information. It really scares me how many companies out there sell your information to data brokers. I know there's several of you out there that get tired of receiving the, the phone calls throughout the day. And, and people trying to steal your information on the web, the dark web. A lot of you don't even know what the dark web is, so don't even worry about that, but that's a bad place. It's crazy. Since we've grown on social media, we've had so many people try to steal our information, and Dora has actually help protect our information. Some of y'all probably did not know that your personal data is being sold online by data brokers. Yes, they are profiting from selling your information to data brokers. Well, some of you are going to ask, what are data brokers? Data brokers sell information to all the scammers, spammers, anyone else out there that may want to target you or your family. And a lot of you probably didn't realize your full name, your social security number, your email address, your home address, your family's address, your healthcare information, all that stuff, all that information is out there on the web for the data brokers to actually get it. Like I said earlier, since we've downloaded Aura, I know 50 different data brokers trying to steal and sell my information. 
that's why I've been using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are, are selling my information and automatically submits a opt-out request for me, which I got three of them this morning. I'll show you where they sent me a message saying they completed that um, data broker out. Or cleaning up my information only helps reduce the amount of spam, but it protects me from the hackers who can access my information to help them access all my banking accounts, my social media accounts, and all the sensitive information out there. All the phone calls and stuff come from the data brokers with the company selling your information. And that's why I use Auric to protect me and my family so I don't have to worry about it because we got tons of things to do around here on the farm. I don't have to download several different apps to get things like the antivirus or the VPN or your, even your password management, parent control identity, which is important if you got kids. Um, I get everything at one affordable price, not three, but one. You may, you may already have one or two of these tools already, but not having Aura is like locking your front door and leaving your back door wide open. I'm telling you, we've used them the last three months. They have, they have definitely stopped the data brokers from selling our information because the phone calls are good, gone. Aura is always doing, doing the hard work to keep me and my family safe. I, I can focus on more on more things on the farm and the animals and other projects around here. It's always nice knowing that Aura is going to be there to surf the internet or the web or the dark web. Like I said, you don't if you don't know what the dark web is, you don't even need to look into it. That's a bad place. I value my privacy. I value your privacy. You can go to aura.com slash Eddie Family Farm to start your two week free trial. I want to thank um, the sponsor of today's video, Aura. Put your glasses on, look up. Wow. It feels much more better. Better. We'll still be here for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, wow, that is super dark. Oh, not a bit. All right, guys, it's 2024. It's a Monday. It is the 8th of April. 45 p.m. 45 p.m. 1.45 p.m. The solar eclipse just happened. Now it's starting to get bigger. It and here in just a little bit, the sun will be all the way back out. Well, I guess now that we've seen the solar eclipse, we have to let y'all know we have some big, big, big news. This is the news that we have all been waiting for. We got a letter <laughs> in the mail. Yes, or today, we got a letter in the mail today and we got an email a couple days ago that um, they are going to be starting construction on our new house. This, this week, this week. this week, it's all going to start this week. Um, they got guys that's going to be coming out and then we've got another meeting to set up with uh, the nation. And uh, that's right, guys. That's one reason why we wanted to come up here at the very top here and lay here and look at the solar eclipse is because our house is going to be here um, this time, hopefully in three or four months, yeah. three or four months. It's, it'll be over. We will be sleeping in our own house. Uh, this here is the living room I think was laying in. But um, yeah, it's super amazing. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a great feeling to know that it's finally here. Um, we knew when we get the letter that things would move up and then we got the email and we'll read you the email here just shortly. Um, and share some more uh, news what's going to happen from here so stay tuned for that so this is the second meeting they told us from the beginning that we're going to have three meetings the first one was the first one we went to the second one is going to be like budgeting and safety house rules and stuff like that and then the third one is where we actually pick up our keys so it's getting close yeah so this is the second one we got one more after that but um, once, with that being said, we got a lot to do today. As y'all know, uh, Kaysen has got the incubator, his big surprise the other day, and um, he absolutely loves it. 
it's almost full and we may have to possibly uh, get another one. I thought the big one would be big enough for the, the hens we got, but we're just going to kind of monitor it for a little bit. And I told him what we will do is we will try to hatch the baby chicks off. We'll take them to the sale and the funds we get from the baby chicks, we'll save them up and buy him a new incubator um, because we do want to put him a, uh, I'll walk down here. For the people that's new to the channel, come on down here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, this is our, our chicken area here for all of our chickens. Um, Kaysen loves the chickens, I love the chickens. We all love them, but um, I think we're going to end up building a little building here so we can actually uh, put his incubator and stuff in because we don't want to keep it in the RV um, or the camper trailer, whatever you want to call it. Um, there, I'm trying to put the numbers together. If it would be cheaper for us to actually build it, we do have a lot of the wood, but obviously it's going to take a lot more than this. And um, there's something kind of popped up yesterday. Uh, I don't know. We may go take a, a look at it. But one of these, uh, one of the guys that owns one of these building places, actually told me that he has a repo building that is a 12 by 24 that already has electricity in it. And um, I may go talk to him about the price and see what it is. If that's the case, we can just put it right here in the middle, and it already has electricity. So. We're just going to kind of monitor it from there, but we're going to try to put the numbers together because we've already got a lot of wood. Dad, huh? We're not chicken laying. The what? We're not chicken laying. One of them's laying. Yeah. Sitting right now. <laughs> to him. Oh, yep. She's over there laying the egg, huh? The two eggs. This one laid eggs, and then the better first one laid eggs. Yeah. 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 And I, I know so many that w have seen some, some comments and um, and which I don't address it all the time, but there's so many people that leave the comments saying, you know, that's all you show the chickens or the goats. Here's the deal. We just document our life. We bring y'all along and the, the, there's the other subscribers that's been with us for so long. This is like their farm as well. So they get to interact with us and our animals as if it's their farm. I mean, a lot of people would love to have all these animals, but they can't. They live in cities and stuff. So we try to make it to where it's real life and they're a part of it too. But that's just us. I'm not saying every channel's like that, but we really enjoy bringing along our, our subscribers and all of our new followers and just showing her, just letting them be a part of our, our life and our family. But um, we're going to go down here and... Uh, put some things away and then we'll be back so we get a lot of people wanting to know what we do in our special ingredient here that makes our chickens lay eggs we put some vitamins in in with our oats we put some sunflower seeds and um, that's it really nothing really special um, I think the vitamins help out a lot. They have laying pellets, and then we give them the oyster shells to make the shells harder. They only have one egg. Do they? And um, also, we went to the auction the other night, and uh, as y'all know, this rooster is really, really mean. Um, I don't like Casey going in there. Um, when he does go in there, he does take a stick just in case he gets a hold of him. But we did run across another trio of chocolates that had a really, really, really big rooster. And um, we're going to kind of monitor. We, so we got three chocolate roosters now, so we're going to see which ones are the biggest. And uh, after looking, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can replace him, but after looking, I don't know if we're going to be able to because the other one is really, really young, and um, I don't know if the eggs have been getting fertile, to be hey, honest with you, huh? Um, there are eggs on the ground over there, um, I scrapped the, in this pen where the, the rooster be me, I don't go in there, so I come, follow me, I come back here. I come back here to get the eggs. 
Look. Where was the exit? That one egg was right here, and I grabbed it from under there. Okay, good deal. Um, so another thing. So. So another, th so another thing I was going to tell you, Kason, is on the eggs. When we gather the eggs, any eggs on the outside does not get gathered with the these eggs. They have to be separate. Them are eating eggs on the outside because all these eggs here are full blood. So that's when we take them to the auction in the sale, we can sell the baby chicks and we know they're full blood because people pay a lot more money for full blood. These ones that he's talking about are... The actual chocolates though okay he gets them from the from the outside but he rolls them out and i'm going to show you why and i'm going to show you why we went with this guy he is he is really really big look at the size of him yeah he's real real big yeah this is what you call a english orpington chocolate I don't know if the camera gives it justice how big he is, but look at the hens compared to him. Um, now, two of the hens that are in here are his that came with him, but the other ones, how you can tell on these Orpingtons, um, if you if you look, see how they got the fluffy butts and stuff? That's how you can tell that they are full blood, and also you can tell by their feet. Um, he is an older rooster, but... He is a beautiful rooster, and uh, I know where he come from. I know he's got good chickens, and um, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, and he might not be fitting in those um, eggs like these. Yeah. Because he's too big. Boy, they went through a lot of feed this week. All right, we'll give them some snacks, and then we're going to go get our barrel. And these are Steph's chickens. They're the prettiest ones. They are pretty. Yeah, and they had um, a lot, um, three eggs yesterday. All right, guys, so this is the barrel we got from the auction. We got this from the auction, which I really like this because it's got the lid that you can tighten so no, uh, water and stuff can't get in and we can feed the chickens. And then we got a couple other things from the auction. Um, these little uh, buckets here. I got these buckets here because they're water buckets and I'm going to fill those up and just leave them around the farm so the chickens and stuff can drink out of it and the goats and uh, ponies and stuff can't actually get all the water out. So we got a few of those and then we got another tough, uh, we got another feed bucket. I mean, these buckets here we got like for three or four dollars. So that's some really, really, really good price. That's the reason why I like going to auction. You get a good deal. But anyways, we're going to run up here and get some feed. Load this up. And then we'll take it over there and put all the feed in it. We'll bring y'all on. So like I say, guys, big, big news. The house. Then we seen the eclipse. Um, we got to set out traps today. Um, we just got... No, I said we got to. So it's going to take a little bit of time uh, to get all this together. But it's probably going to be a good video so just stay tuned luckily the wind ain't so high today yeah i know we got to get the traps back out just because like i said earlier we've lost too many guineas and um, the coyotes was up here really close the other night so we've got to get them back out i mean we took them down for probably about two weeks now and the predators are already back on the property so you just have to stay on top of it we need two pounders But it'd just be good for all the feed to be up there without having to make extra trips down here to get a bag every time because each feeding is taken right about one bag. But we only have to do that. Well, this go around is going to be day five, so.
I may need to go through there for some reason. I'm putting this food in first. Huh? This food. No. Hey, get my feet. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Two hundred and fifty, so it'll probably hold about another hundred pounds. All right, guys, get away from here. Y'all don't get the chicken feed. Yep, y'all ain't getting nothing to that. Yeah, it'll hold about a hundred. Oh, yeah. I think about a hundred more pounds. Thank you. It. I'm wondering if it's like a 400 pound tub. That's 250 pounds. 300 pounds. We always got to make sure this is tight, okay? Because there's uh, 250, <laughs> there's there's about $70 worth of feed in here. Actually, you don't know if the goats knock it over. Well, if, it, if this Ooh, lid's on tight, the goats can knock it over and it ain't going to do nothing. Or All right, that should, that should keep them tight. Always keep this on here, okay? Got it? Good job. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get some of these buckets you put up. Lift it. Yeah, okay. it's it's heavy. That's 250 pounds. Yeah. Um, we're going to get these big, uh, all these buckets picked up that we don't need down here anymore. And then we're going to uh, get those other uh, water buckets, clean those out. We're going to put those out hey. around the, the fence down there for the chickens and the turkeys and stuff. And uh, he, he does that because you run from him, son. If you will stand there, he is not going to get you. He's not going to get you. It's just proven. Um, but he's a good boy. All right, guys, so we just got back to the house. We went to town, had to take care of some business work. And um, we went and seen the building that a uh, gentleman was telling me about yesterday while I was eating dinner. And uh, we went and looked at it. There's some other people looking at it. So um, we didn't get a film, but we are going to go back and film tomorrow. Me and Steph's gonna go look at it while the kids are in school. But um, when we got back, we, we got all the guineas up here, but we're, we're missing a couple guineas and we're missing um, at least one turkey, turkey hen. And uh, where'd you say them guineas were, Kaysen? Uh, Back here. Where at back here? You hear them. Where? Uh, I hear something. Right there. Oh, yep, right back there. We'll go over here, but I was telling Kaysen that a lot of times now that these, um, now that these turkey, I mean, these uh, guineas are getting bigger, there's a possible chance that they got some nest out here. We're missing five right now, because I know the, the varmints got one of them um, a couple nights ago, and uh, we've already aired that video. So we're missing five right now. So hopefully there's five over here. Me and Steph, this is kind of one of our daily deals going around and counting them. It's fun. And I know a lot of people- We're missing one. Cause, huh? Cause we got all the, nope. We got How all the- there? One, two, three, four. Okay, that gives us 19. We're missing yeah. one. Oh. We're missing one. All right. We're missing one because we know that the varmints got the other ones the the other 15 are up there eating these guys are still out here running around which is okay but we have got and i know so many people left comments you need to pin your animals up i'm not pinning my animals up these guineas here they got a purpose i don't know if y'all know me very well but i'm terrified of snakes guineas keep snakes away so um Huh. What? I think we just found it rained last night and looky here.
That is a raccoon. Uh oh, I, I got an idea. And it's got some fur right there. We just figured out on an accident. We need to set a trap light here. Do what? We need to set a trap light here. We just figured it out on an accident. Right there is where they're coming in at. Right there is a raccoon track. We already know when we We will be bringing the raccoon trap back here. And I already got one spot where we need to um, set a trap. Yeah, and then we have a couple foot traps we're going to set out. It's going to be me and Kaysen today. Yep. Um, the other kiddos had ball practice, and uh, they're all ball games and a scrimmage today. But no, we, one, uh, one uh, practice and one scrimmage. One practice, one scrimmage, but, you know, that's okay. It's good to have father-son time, huh? Yeah. You like hanging out with Dad? Yeah. Yeah, we do a lot of fun stuff, huh? Yes. So, um, I don't know if Steph's talked about it yet, but um, he did go to the doctor the other day. They had to run some tests on him and do some x-rays. Yeah, on your legs and but stuff. But I got a picture um, the doctor Yeah. on my, uh, the play phone. Yeah. So, here's the deal. She's going to let y'all know what's going on with Kaysen. And I found it on Facebook. Yeah. She's going to let you know what's going on with Kaysen. Um, on her channel if you're not subscribed to it go over and follow her videos um, thank y'all so much for y'all's love and support for our families and both channels i know it's hard to watch both of them and i know you can't watch them all the time but we just love to see y'all pop up every now and then but um she she's going to do a update on casein i don't think she's put it out yet it will probably be out by the time this video goes out so go over there show her some love and um, we're gonna go find some guineas and get ready to set some traps. Do you like the eclipse today? That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That's your fault. No, that is yours. I like the eclipse. So, the, huh. I told him before we did this, we was gonna kind of, we was gonna drive around over here and see if we can find any of the guineas actually setting. Um, we're still missing a turkey. Meant a guinea? No, we're missing a turkey too. Oh, what, what one are we missing? Um, it's a white. Oh, oh, look. And red one. Oh. I talked to a gentleman at the auction, and he said if you ever find one, um, gather the eggs and take them and put them in the incubator because they will lay a huge nest of them, and a lot of them will run. But. We got a lot of good areas down here they could be nesting in, so um, I'm going to hop off here and we're going to look in here real quick. A trail. Where, yeah. Well, this is nice and beautiful back here with this grass we planted. It looks really, really good. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Looky there. What? Here, I found an egg just walking through here. That's a turkey egg. Let me see. Hold on. What? Or is that a guinea egg? Can, can y'all tell if that's a turkey or a guinea egg? You actually did? We're not going to get that egg right now because I want to see if it's a turkey. I'll come back during the day tomorrow and see if something's setting. Somewhere, be careful. Oh, right there. Hmm. See it? Oh, yeah. Huh? That, then, that the way how the guinea's getting out, or the turkey. I, I think that's a turkey egg, but I don't want to touch it. No, but, shake it off, the dirt off, where you can tell um, the tur turkey egg, or, um, or, uh, um, guinea egg. Well, that looks, that dirt looks freshly disturbed. So let's leave it there. That's not even turkey egg. I can tell, uh. What is it, a guinea egg? Yeah. It is a guinea egg? Yeah. You know how I know? How? Because there are no dots on it. The dot, the turkey have dots on it. And it, that have, that dirt on it, um, then it, uh, um. Yeah, I don't see no dots. Okay. Well, let's leave it there. 
and we'll continue looking. Let's go on this side. See if we see any over here. No. There can't be nothing. Oh, there's a there's some type of trail right through there. Huh? Not unless they're cra crawling way back up in there. Something's way back there. Cause look. <gasps> what? Trail. Look. Look. Yeah. Wait. That should go back there. Yeah. Let's. Let's we'll, get we'll something. Let's come over here and look around the front of it, and then after that, we're gonna have to go get our traps and stuff ready. Oh, there, hey, there's the turkey. I knew we was missing the turkey. Where? You found it? She's right there. Nuh-uh. Yep, she's got a couple eggs. Sure no enough, way. Sure enough, guys, y'all see that? Nuh-uh. You see her? Y'all see her right there? No way. That's pretty neat, ain't it? She's staying there for a while. Yeah. Hey, son, maybe when she gone, um, a snake probably take an egg. Yeah, that's probably the reason why she hasn't been leaving. I don't know how long she's been there. Let's I haven't seen her for a long time, so she probably been there like an hour. Well, son. That's what I was telling your mama. I didn't want to burn this yet because there might be guineas and stuff in here. We need to get those eggs or move them. What do y'all think? Move them. I know where to move them. Well, we can't move them. If we move them, we have to put them in the incubator. Move them in the tree. I don't know how long she's actually been sitting, though. <sighs> hey, we should set a, a snake trap. guys there she is if you'll see there she's got all kinds of eggs under her. I can't tell if they're turkey or what hey mama yeah she's got a bunch of turkey eggs under there. Hey, Mom. Wait, how you tell? Oh, wow. And there is uh And you can also see that she's got some uh, guinea eggs in there. Wait, how do you know? Daddy? Because you can see them all. Look at how many she's got under there. He trying to attack you? I don't know what we need to do. Let me get a nesting box or something. I think we just need to go ahead and um, let me see how many days it takes for guinea eggs. Okay, so it takes 26 to 28 days for guinea eggs. I don't think this mama's been here very long. So what I'm going to do go is it. I'm going to go ahead and take a few of these eggs. I'm gonna leave her some but I want to take a few just in case something does come in and get the whole nest. Um, at least we're safe with them. So me and um, Kaysen's gonna go back and get a- um, A nesting box? We're gonna go get some uh, egg crates. I call it a nesting box. Oh, do you? Yeah, nesting box. We're gonna get some egg crates and we're gonna come back and get them. Get some of them. I'm gonna leave some so she can go ahead and hatch them too. But she's got, I don't know, 20 eggs under there at least. The only thing I don't like about it is I don't know how many days she's been set. That just means we'll just have to check them, you know, periodically and listen and candle them a little bit more. But that's okay because I think this is a better chance for them to live this way than a raccoon because a raccoon that trail ain't very far from where she's at. Wait, I see a quail egg. They make quail eggs, son. Huh? Hey, that one's shaking. These are banny eggs. Uh, not banny eggs. 
here. Hey, so they she might not be. Wait, that one ha hatching. Where? Hey, this tiny one. Where? On the on the side. This one? Yeah. Look, you see that crack? No, it ain't hatching yet. And it look like it. But we'll leave those there. I'll leave one more there. That's kind of heavy. Well, I hold it. Don't drop it. Let me put these up and I'll come back and get that. I walk. Kind no, of. don't drop them. No, it's a walk. All right. A thousand eggs. Except for the guinea's eggs. All right. There we go. We'll bring them back up here. We'll take and go put them in the incubator right now. Yes. Hold this. That guinea egg is the best. I knew we had some guineas somewhere laying, but I just didn't know where. These are going to be ones that we just have to check on. Because they've been on a nest. Yeah. All right, come back here. A turkey bear come. All right, so we'll what go. we'll do is when we get back up to the house tonight, we'll go ahead and candle them when it gets dark. What a candle? We're going to see if they're how far along they are. Yeah. But that was amazing. That was amazing, wasn't it? That was pretty neat. Yeah, how she laid on the guinea eggs. Yeah, she is taking care of others. Then we got to get these traps going. I already got one trap set back there. And then one, uh, you know, where that possum come from. Yeah. I'm setting one there. Cause, uh, I don't yeah, trust we got to get a hold of that raccoon. Yes. All right, then, we'll get them uh, inside. Ooh. case and hold this. I got a bowl of ones. A what? A bowl of ones. When? I don't need that bowl. No. We're not doing traps yet. Oh. Set it down. We got to put the eggs in. Hurry. Oh. Get over here and record me getting them out. That's so thousand. it looks like we got maybe four guinea eggs. So let's go ahead and take them inside and we'll try to get them in the incubator. There's more room for the uh, eggs. I know. All right, so here, here's the deal. It got cold the other night. We had to bring the baby chicks in here, um, which that's the reason why um, I thought that the brooder that I had, I thought the brooder was going to be okay, but in that trailer, it still got cold. So we lost a couple. We brought the rest of them in here, and that's the reason why me and Steph's gonna go look at that building tomorrow. And um, I, I will probably, I don't know if I have that video edited, but I will probably use that footage we go tomorrow, look at the building, so y'all can see, and um, we'll kind of go from there. But we're gonna open this up and try to get uh, these eggs in there. Yeah, so these are the baby chicks. Um, what we got these guys on is one of those uh, pads. And that, one from cells. Yeah, so what we will do is, uh, each evening we'll come in here and we'll take this pad out and put another one under it uh, for the baby chicks. And then hopefully we can get them in a large brooder here soon. About go get me a drink. Uh, I'll be on it. 
hard. Wait, that hot room? That is super high, high. Right, Dad? So hot. <sighs> See, and chicken touch? No, y'all don't open it until I, I open it. I have been today, but I have. All right, so this is a part of this uh, pop-up brooder. Type thing. That's what I'm saying. It's, we're, we've got to get a building for the uh, baby yeah. chicks, so hopefully we can get this figured out. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this. Okay, we got one rack that's got... And they are going to hatch the lockdowns on the 27th. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this rack out here. That way we can put them on lockdown. These are turkey eggs as well. <gasps> we're about to have turkeys. Yeah. Eggs. So we're going to take these. We're going to set them right here. Oh my goodness. But what no, we want to do, nothing. I'm going to take this pencil here and we will mark on top of these. Some of those turkey eggs from them are guineas. Wait, where are the other eggs? All right, don't touch them eggs. Hope she go back and lay on them. Yeah, if not, we'll come back. So I'm gonna take this here, put a line on top. That's just telling me I know this is the one that we put in here on this day. What's that? What? I hear something cracking. Like, they're like the. I don't know. We'll see. Put these back. What's his hair? Even though. We'll go ahead and open this up. Put them back in there. That better not be that one. So I know I can take these. She won't go. I bet she won't go back on there. Uh. All right, guys. So those are in there. We'll monitor that other nest, see if she goes back. If not, we'll get those eggs. Um, reason why I'm leaving this bottom one open here is there's nothing on. In this in here, I've got the other rack here. I've got a partial up here as well. That is going to be the eggs we put in from um, up at the, the Orpington. So um, I think I'll have to do the calculation right. I think we got a few more days before we can put, uh, easy son, easy, okay? A few more days before we actually put them in, so.